In this lesson, we'll go through two example calculations that involve alcohol proof strength and proof gallons. But before we can do that, I want to start by quickly discussing some important ideas associated with this topic, which will help you understand why it's important. First of all, proof strength is twice the percentage strength of alcohol. So say you have a solution that is 50% volume per volume alcohol, that would be considered 100 proof because it's double what your percentage of alcohol is. Whereas if you were to say to someone that this solution is 200 proof, that means the solution is completely alcohol. In fact, it's not even a solution at that point. It's simply alcohol. In reverse, then, you can say that alcohol that is 90% proof is equal to 45% volume per volume alcohol. An aqueous solution containing 50% volume per volume absolute alcohol is called proof spirit. And the alcohol we're talking about here is ethyl alcohol. Alcohols of other percentage strengths are said to be above proof or below proof, depending on whether they contain more or less than 50% volume per volume absolute alcohol. Furthermore, alcohol for manufacturing use may be purchased by the proof gallon. A proof gallon is a gallon by measure of proof spirit. So one proof gallon is equivalent to one gallon of solution containing 50% alcohol. That's going to be very important for question number one. Where in question number one we're asked, how many proof gallons are contained in five gallons of 75% volume per volume alcohol? So the first thing that I'll do is find out how much of these five gallons is alcohol alone. And that can be done by taking the total volume of five gallons and multiplying it by the percentage 75, or as a decimal, of course, 0 0.75. So by multiplying five gallons by 0 0.75, you should end up with 3.75. So 3.75 gallons of the five gallon total is pure ethyl alcohol. The next thing you wanna do is take this value of 3.75 gallons of alcohol and use this conversion factor to find out how many proofs that is. So I want the amount of proof gallons. So I'll put that at the top, one proof gallon. And at the bottom, I'll put down one gallon of 50% volume per volume. If you have one gallon of solution and 50% of it is alcohol, that means you have 0 0.5 gallons of pure alcohol in there. This unit, which represents gallons of pure alcohol, and this unit, which also represents gallons of pure alcohol, will cancel out. So by multiplying 3.75 by this fraction, let me show you what happens. 3.75 times 1, which is the same thing, divided by 0.5, is equal to 7.5 proof gallons. All right, let's try to answer question number two. How many gallons of 20% volume per volume alcohol would be the equivalent of 20 proof gallons? So this time we're going in the opposite direction. We are told that there are 20 proof gallons and we want to find out how much alcohol is in this 20 proof gallons. We'll take the value that I just wrote and multiply it to the conversion factor that I wrote up here, where I'll write down 0 0.5 gallons of pure alcohol. Remember, multiplying one times 50% gives you that, over one proof. Units here cancel out, and we will find out how many gallons of pure alcohol is in 20 proof. 20 times 0 0.5 gives us 10. 10 gallons of pure alcohol. And the solution of which we want to find the volume of is 20%. So taking the amount of alcohol 
divided by the total which we are looking for should give us 0 0.20 or 20 percent. We already know the amount of alcohol that will exist here so I'll place 10 gallons in that position the numerator 10 gallons of alcohol over the total which we're looking for I'll replace it with X for now is 0 0.2 we need to find out what X is so we will cross multiply I'll use the technique of cross multiplication and that technique works by taking X times 0 0.20 which is 0 0.20 X 1 times 10 is 10 and then to isolate for X we divide both sides by 0 0.20 10 divided by 0 0.20 gives us a total of 50 gallons. Okay, so you need 50 gallons of solution that contains 20% alcohol to produce 20 proof gallons. And there you have it. I hope you can now understand what alcohol proof is. And if you still have further questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or use our website. Thank you again for watching.